wait, 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 wait. I'm screwing this up. Inactive, active, inactive. Just when you think you got it figured out, then, then you learn that it's, you really don't know how, what you're doing. I think I'm gonna turn this off a little bit and concentrate on what I'm doing here. By the way, up here is a CB uh, CB holder, which it's not a priority for me to hook up my CB. They're probably going to just have me drop and hook at the receiver tomorrow and bring empty tots back to this shipper that way I could go and watch those videos and uh, see I'm um, one second away from that truck Catch you later. Peace. Good, uh, good morning. Things are not going as well as it could be. This is my second day out with this truck. And I feel like a total idiot. I feel like I'm. this is my second day at school. So far I have been... I've been three hours late for the delivery on this load. And I'm still 218 miles away. All said and done, it's going to be at least six and a half hours late. This load will be six and a half hours late by the time I deliver this. I keep trying to figure out the computer or, uh, on this truck, mainly the uh, The electronic logbook and also how to do the pre trips and loaded calls, empty calls, arrival calls. I don't know all of that stuff. I figured out where the wiper blades, uh, you know, how to turn the wiper on. So far, I've figured out how to uh, activate the windshield, the windshield washer fluid. But there are so many things in this truck that I have no clue what they are. I think I'm gonna have them I'm gonna have the my boss or my off, you know, my driver manager send me back to the yard. Somebody has to train me how to do all this stuff because half of the time I don't even know how to get uh, the odometer reading. You see, every time you, 
every time we fuel, we have to send in on the computer, we have to send in the, uh, the odometer reading, the reaper fuel, uh, the reaper hours, and I don't know any of those stuff right now. Anyway, I am located about 35 miles north of Chicago. In fact, I just got in Illinois here. I slept in this truck for the first time last night. Oh, I figured out how to do the cruise control. Hey! That's exciting. I have yet to find out, hopefully, they did not forget to put the easy pass on this truck. An easy pass is a uh, electronic transponder that will automatically pay toll. For example, here like in Illinois, New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, it has a little electronic uh, gizmo that just, instead of stopping into the toll road and pay them, it will automatically just register you and charge you and deduct it from the uh, company account. Anyway, one of the good things that I notice about this truck is the, this is called the PeopleNet. It's a satellite communication device. Something new about this is uh, it has its own built-in GPS just like it would be in a car. So that's a good thing. I have yet to find out I have yet to find out how well it works and how to work it properly because I don't really know. Uh what else? And the truck smells like a brand new car. Well, that's about it. We'll catch you later. Wish me luck, you guys. Peace. Hey, everybody. Johnny Be Good here, located in Quincy, Michigan. I made it nine hours late. Can you imagine nine hours late for delivery? Wow. I feel like a horse's patoot. But anyway, uh, here's the place that I'm delivering to. I hope I don't get yelled at. Catch you later. See ya. Peace. Hey everybody, Johnny Be Good here. Okay, I just uh, did my drop and hook at Quincy, Michigan. Things are getting a little bit better. One of the problem was the uh, satellite communication on this truck was not set up properly. was not logged into it by the company but for the most part I don't know what the world I'm doing 
but for the most part I don't know what I'm doing so but it's getting better it's gonna take a couple more days or a week before I can get uh, everything I, before I can get all the knobs and switches and features of this truck figured out it'll come it'll come so for now I am empty I am hooked up to trailer 53792 and I am on my way to Indianapolis Indiana which is 182 miles from here another drop and hook at a Canagra uh, place and that load delivers to Manchester Pennsylvania for some time tomorrow so right now I am uh, located 10 miles north of Indiana Indiana state line here at interstate 69 Things are a little bit slow, but so far so good. I hope that uh, it will improve. The truck is really smooth. I mean, it's smooth. Uh, supposedly, I can watch the training video and how to work this truck and the computer right off the screen here so I have yet to figure that out yet so but for now thank you for watching peace hey everybody Johnny be good here located today in Wheeling West Virginia I'm at the uh, truck stop of America otherwise known as the TA and this is uh, day three I believe Monday Tuesday Wednesday this is my third day of this brand spanking new truck did I mention that it still smells like a brand new car haha -ha. and it's very quiet okay this is will be my second time to fuel and uh, let's do it together I haven't exactly figured out my system yet and how to do it and which way is the most efficient way of doing it and fastest way so let's go to it first uh, step is I gotta get the mileage out of there in order for me to get fuel which is 1531 miles point nine so let's go Second thing that I need is the reaper hours. Reaper hours is 1,121 hours. 1121. As always, we go over here. We get this calm data card, put it in there, okay, welcome to the TA, insert your Road King Club, which is this one here. Okay, select Tractor Reaper Bowl. Advance, I wish. Fuel additives, no. Truck number, oh, truck number 41059. Enter trailer. Five three six zero six. Yeah, five three six zero six. Enter. My 
mileage, 17, nope, up, 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 clear, mileage, 1531, reaper hours, 1121, You guys want to check this website out, it's really cool. Okay, driver's license number, Buell. Let's turn that off so you guys could hear me. One of the things that is different about this truck is the fuel tank is only... Uh, see, I still don't know how to open this thing. The fuel tank is only a hundred gallons per side. My old truck had 125 gallons per tank. So I want to check this out, check our uh, fluid level. Remind me to, remind me to turn on, turn the reefer back on, otherwise there's going to be a lot of spoiled product in there. All right, let's go check out our oil. Wow, look at that. Okay, this is our coolant. And our dipstick is over here. Washer fluid is there. Now, usually, uh, when it comes to a brand new engine. It will suck a lot of oil for the last, uh, for the first thousand miles. So that's something that I need to check. And looks like it's just okay. The Red Giant, which is a uh, a Cummins. This is a Cummins engine. It looks pretty good. Don't know what else to check. This is the hydraulic fluid, which is right there. That's all right. Oh. Oops. How do you close this thing? How do you close the hood? Ah, here we go. This is a safety device that way when the wind is blowing the hood and you're checking on underneath the hood, the hood will not close 